Listen. Hey everyone, this is Mark again, and welcome back to the Data Warehouse Collection. Today I'm going to show you how to go from zero to querying data in Cloudera Data Warehouse. Before starting, I'm assuming you have a working environment with a data lake running in CDP. We're going to follow three simple steps. First, we're going to activate our environment for use in Cloudera Data Warehouse. Next, we'll create a virtual warehouse. And last, I'll import my data from my public cloud vendor into my database catalog. First step, let's head to the Data Warehouse page and activate our environment for use with the experience. And now we wait while CDP does the hard work in the background. All right, the environment is activated. You can see that we now have a user marketing default database catalog created where our data will be stored. Now let's create a virtual warehouse. The virtual warehouse is what runs the queries I submit. We're going to use a Hive LLAP virtual warehouse and select extra small because it's just me working on a small data set. For auto scaling, I'll bring down the maximum amount of nodes to four to save on costs and I'll only auto scale when a query is queued for more than 30 seconds. Now we'll wait for CDB to provision that virtual warehouse. Okay, now it's time to load some data. Let's head to Data Analytics Studio, then to Compose. The process of importing data from any supported public cloud vendor is identical. I already put a CSV containing data about used cars into S3 storage on AWS. To load that CSV into the user marketing default database catalog, I'll run a create external table command. Great, now let's run a quick query to test it out. I prepared a query to grab the average price of cars grouped by the model year. And there's the result. Let's take this a step further. What if I'm a BI user and I want to connect this to Tableau or other similar software? Generally, you'll need two things, a JDBC driver and the JDBC URL. The virtual warehouse I created provides the JDBC URL and allows you to download the driver in the form of a jar. For Tableau, we'll first place the JDBC driver in the correct location. According to the Tableau website, in order to connect to a database by JDBC, we need to place a driver in the Tableau driver folder. I use Windows, don't judge. So I'll download the driver and place it in its C program files, Tableau drivers. Next, let's connect the virtual warehouse to Tableau. Under to a server, expand and select other databases JDBC. Copy the JDBC URL from the virtual warehouse and paste it into the URL field. You'll use your free IPA username and password. Your credentials for free IPA are the same credentials used to sign into Data Analytics Studio. You may also remember setting this in the CDP control plane under user management. All done, now click sign in. Now that I'm connected, I can create some nice charts from my used car dataset. Thanks for watching today. Let us know in the comments if there are any topics that you would like us to cover and subscribe to be notified of our upcoming videos. Also, if you have any questions about CDP, make sure to check out the Cladera community. There's a link in the description to take you there. Until next time.